we're here because our light is, is, is the forefront of what lighting is going to be. A show called Melissa and Joey in LA for Nickelodeon. We have 40 lights in their grid. We changed a $20,000 electric bill to the over, just a little bit over $1,200. I could not find any product placement companies at the time that specifically specialized in placing and promoting these types of products. None of them had the ultimate goal of raising the profile of green brands, changing consumer buying habits for the better, or giving back as part of their reason for doing business. We're trying to green as many jobs as we possibly can. We're trying to train more eco-managers. We're trying to get the word out and get more and more people involved and inspired and showing them that this is possible. Part of my job is to strategize with every single department, right? And I'm not just recycling cans on set. I'm working with wardrobe and I'm working with the electrics and I'm working with everyone to see how we can all be more sustainable. Look, a, a, a tax incentive or some kind of incentive that would help pay for a sustainable steward on set would be a great thing. And the reason that you need your UPM to be on board is because you have to plan ahead and you have to look at what the resources are available. And if you look at the work that PGA Green has done is by in, in compiling all these resources and making them available to every production, if you just look there, all the vendors and all the different practices that you can do are available and it will pay for itself. And in many cases, it'll save money. For the first time on the East Coast, we're now able to provide FSC certified Luan. Now, what does that mean? It means that instead of not knowing where these panels come from, they're certified by the Forest Stewardship Council that they were produced in an environmentally responsible way from sustainable forests. Deforestation and forest degradation are still rampant. Uh, they're responsible for more greenhouse gas emissions than the entire transportation sector. We lose about 30 million acres of forest each year. And just to give you a sense of scale, that's exactly the acreage of New York State. I really just want to communicate to all of you that the sustainable filmmaking movement goes much farther than just USA and Hollywood. It's much, the reach is much farther beyond this room. The first sort of step in our project was a competition. Um, there were eight professional crews working on different short films, um, all with the task of trying to produce a project as sustainably as possible. The winning project to be awarded 20,000 euros, which is quite a lot. No one's in charge of sustainability at all on Broadway. We don't have a PGA Green. None of the shows are doing sustainability reports. We have a program called Green Captains where we now have somebody who's a sort of green liaison at every single show on Broadway. It's not just a growing trend. It's an essential part of thinking green, walking the talk, and uh, considering everything that you do and how that affects uh, the people around you and the world around you. Uh, we are a 501 c nonprofit organization. Uh, we prevent pollution, we create opportunity, and we aid our community by diverting set materials to local charities and operating a prop shop and creative re reuse center in Gowanus, Brooklyn. By treating sustainability as a goal today, early movers will develop competencies that rivals will be hard pressed to match. Sustainability is coming to production, it's coming to film, it's not going to stop, and you being here and you learning this puts you ahead of everybody else. Don't forget that. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago, and the second best time is today.